wants it. So we, we can take this off. Testing. Everybody hear me okay? Thank you for your patience. Uh, we are ready to start our entertainment for the night. Thank you very much for everyone coming to support our cultural fair. This is our fourth year and it just keeps growing and keeps getting better. Uh, we have amazing group of students of diverse cultures and we like to celebrate culture. So that's what we have been doing today um, and every day. We have a wonderful program. We have two great announcers, LJ and Max. So uh, get ready to enjoy a great night and thank you again for your support. Good evening and welcome to the Eagle Point Culture Fair. We will have an amazing night of entertainments planned. First, we would like to welcome back the Moulin Dance Group. We will have a they have performed for us in the past, and their dances are truly beautiful. Chalia Lee, one of our fifth grade students here at Eagle Point, is part of this group. Please welcome this lovely and beautiful group of performers.
by our very own fifth grade students. How the Rhino got wrinkly skin is a short play based on a story about Rudyard Kipling. The play is about how the Rhino used to have beautiful, smooth skin, but he's always had bad manners. One day, his bad manners got him in trouble. Please welcome our fifth grade performers. A long time ago, on an island far, far away, there lived a rhino with very smooth skin. Look at me! I'm so beautiful. I have the most magnificent skin on the whole island. I think you have the biggest mouth on the whole island. <laughs> and the worst manners. Who cares about manners? I still have the most beautiful skin. <laughs> there was a Parsi who lived on an island too. He was from Persia, but now he was living in India. Parsi lived a simple life, but he was happy. One day, mongoose and snake were hanging out with Parsi. Oh no, I'm almost out of food. I must bake a new cake. Parsi ate only cake. What do you put in your cake, Parsi? Well, flour, water, sugar, and other things. Sounds wonderful. May we try it? Sure, I'll share my cake with you both. So Parsi got busy mixing his cake, and Mongoose and Snake helped him because they were good friendly animals, unlike a certain animal we could talk about. Now, now we'll put our cake on the oven to bake. How long will it take, Parsi? Just a few minutes. Comment through, comment through. Oh no, it's Rhino! Quick, get out of the way, Parsi, or otherwise we're running. Mongoose and Snake ran for the bushes. Parsi hurried up a tree. Rhino plowed right through Parsi's camp. He kicked over the snow and knocked the cake onto the ground. Rhino spilled the cake with his horn. Mmm, tasty. Then he ran away with the cake and ate it all up. <laughs> Can't you believe Rhino? Yeah, aren't you angry with, uh, with him, Parsi? Yes, but then the tea cake which Parsi Man bakes makes dreadful mistakes. What do you mean? You'll see. A few weeks later, a terrible heat wave com came over the island. It's so hot. I just want to take off my skin and go for a swim. Me too. Would you like to come with us, Parsi? Sure. So Mongoose and Snake took off their skin. Snake didn't really need his skin anymore, so he put it in a garbage can. Mongoose needed his, so he folded his skin neatly and laid it under a tree. Percy carefully set his head on the ground, then he plunged into the water with his friends. Everyone was having a great time until... Oh no, it's Rhino! I bet he won't even say he's sorry for stealing our cake. Of course he won't, he's so rude. You all better move because I ain't coming in. Rhino took off his skin and dropped it carelessly on the beach. How rude. How oh, Rhino. Hey, Ryan, maybe we'd like to fold up your skin and put it next to my skin. Why would I want to do that? Because it's neater that way and more polite. Who cares? Rhino plowed into the water. His big feet made huge waves and splashed over everyone. Hey, hey stop, stop splashing us. us. Then Rhino slurped up some water and spit out all over everyone. Hey! I thought you all needed a shower. 
Come on, Mongoose. Come on, Snake. Let's leave here. Let's leave Rhino here alone. I've got an idea. What kind of an idea, Parsi? Remember what I said? Them the tea cake, which Parsi man makes makes dreadful mistakes. Yes, we remember. Come back to my camp. I want you to help me gather some crumbs, enough to fill my hat. His whole hat? Did they actually find that many crumbs? Of course, Percy only eats cake, remember? Now we will take this hat full of crumbs and pour it on Rhino's skin. That will teach him not to be so here. And the uh, and moon. When Rhino got back to the beach, Rhino was floating on his back in the water. He didn't even notice the other on the beach. Can we watch what happens when he comes out of the water? Sure, we'll hide behind that tree over there. In a little while, Rhino came out of the water. He, he picked up and he picked up his skin. He put one arm in, then the other, and he put on all three buttons and. Rhino tried to scratch his itches, but all that movie around made, made the crumbs move inside his skin. He felt even itchier. Itchy! Itchy! <laughs> Why is it so itchy? Rhino threw himself down on the ground and rolled around, but it didn't help. Itchy! Itchy! Then he ran to a palm tree and rubbed his back against it. so hard that he made big wrinkles in his skin. My beautiful My beautiful skin! It's all ruined! Like I said, them the tea cake which price me makes make dreadful mistakes. Since that day, every rhino has been born with wrinkly skin and an angry temper.
Mexican folk dances. Please give them a hand. Muchas gracias. Bienvenidos a todos. We are very glad to be here this evening with you to share your cultural event by representing Mexico. Mexico has many states, 32 to be exact, and each state is represented by its own costume, by its own sound of music, and its own style of dance. So tonight we are going to visit three different states. And the first state that we're going to visit is the state of Durango. So I'm going to have my dancers come and line up. And they are going to do for you Amor de Madre and Bailamos Polka.
princess from the state of Durango. So now you saw how that style of dance, very familiar to maybe some of you that do polka, right? Kind of the same steps. Now we're going to visit another state. This state is a state of Campeche, and it's a very different style of dance as well, as well as the music. So I'm going to have these young people, they're going to do for you El Degoyete, followed by El Pavo, and entered and exited with Pichito Amoroso. So here we go.
don't know Los Alegres Bailadores, we are located at Our Lady of Guadalupe Church. That's where we do all of our lessons. And I have children from three years old, sometimes even two, all the way up to adults. And every level of the children have a different state that they study. And so now I have one of my youngest groups, not the youngest, but one of the youngest, and they're going to do a dance called El Jarabe de la Botella. And what they're going to try and do is get through their whole dance without knocking over their bottle. So let's watch and see how they do, okay?
Spanish, the Mexican folk dancing event here, with El Jarabe Colimote from the state of Colima.
are you doing? Well, uh, the film is I... Didn't you say you always wanted to be in pictures? Well, yes I did, but not like this. Stanley, it's all about television nowadays. Look at this flyer I was handed at the high school game last night. It says you too can make TV. Well, Volunteer with On Location TV 19 and we'll show you how. Well, Arlene, what do you think that means? Stanley, pick up that film reel. It means that if you volunteer with On Location TV 19, 
You too can make TV. What, Ollie? What kind of TV? <gasps> <laughs> if you volunteer for On Location TV 19, you can cover high school sporting events, community concerts, parades, and much more. Do you think that's why they had cameras at the game last night? Why, certainly. That's why they had those announcers, instant replay, and all that modern TV stuff. Ollie, do you think that I could operate one of those TV cameras? Why, of course you could. The folks at TV19 will show you how. Ollie, are we still living in the 1930s? No, of course not, you silly willy. Why do you ask such a question? Well, then why are we in black and white? That's what they call special effects nowadays. I'm sure if you wanted to appear in color, all you'd have to do is ask. Can we be in color, please? 